Welcome again to another Two Tall Toby's practice model uh, built in IronCAD. This is a spearhead dated 6 8 2024. Uh, this one's an interesting model. So it's uh, basically at this uh, tetrahedron uh, model here. So you have uh, the overall length is 90 on all the edges, and you have 60 degree angles here on the top. And you have to create uh, three of those, a uh, distance of 60, mil uh, 60 millimeters up, and then a cylinder on the bottom or a boss on the bottom that's 50 millimeters and 35. For the diameter and then just a uh, counterboard hole here with a 118 uh, bottom drill bottom on the bottom so a uh, fairly simple model to design actually in ironcad a, a couple different ways to build this i'm going to just show you one way to do this so we'll actually hop over to ironcad and show you how this is done so first thing we're going to do uh, is actually start with a extrude shape so i'm just going to show you this is one way to design this but there's multiple ways that you can do it so all of our shapes in our catalogs do have cross sections so what i mean by that uh, we're just going to go ahead and set the, the bottom edge to 90 and the other one to 90 as well. So we know that this edge and this edge 90, and we want to basically use, well, I only need one of these really. But anyways, we can actually access the cross-section by hitting Alt-E. So now we know that this is 90 degrees, we need to do uh, our edges here to draw our bottom profile, the bottom part of our surface essentially. So what we'll do is just use our 2D profile here, go to our outside point, go along our, our center line here, We'll right click we need to make sure that that has a length of 90 and the slope of that is 60 oops 60 on there so that will draw our profile there and then we just come down to the bottom to get that profile so this is a basically there are 90 90 90 this is for our bottom that we want and then we can just get rid of this other geometry that was originally part of our rectangle we can get rid of that and if you don't want to see all the profile you can turn it like that so you can see the profile itself just by saying hide all inside of that's it. uh, showing you the geometry as well Anyways, we hit finish. We've got our base uh, geometry here. And what we really need is just this bottom face because we're going to need to build the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and use a tool called Extract Surface. By right clicking on that face, I'll get that bottom face and I can get rid of that solid. So I'm just using that reg original solid to build our bottom triangle here. So what we want to do is now we need to build these others with a 60 degree angle. And there's multiple ways to do this. You can use a 2D sketch to uh, start this. Um, to get your reference location, but basically I don't know the height uh, unless I want to do the math for this. I can, but I'm going to do it without doing the math. So I'm going to put a, a vertical line and then an angle here that's 90 degrees to get my my reference. So to do that, I can use the 3D curves in IRCAD. So I can start with a 3D curve and start with a line, and I'm going to get that center of that face. I'm going to pick that point, and now it gives me directions that it's going. If I hit tab key, you can change those orientations. So now I want to go along this Y. I can hit my control key and just hold it down and it'll go vertical on this. And I'll just move it up some distance and hit, uh, go ahead and place that there. So basically I have a vertical line coming off that face right on the centroid. That's what I need to define that because we have to create, you know, the centroid location is the edge midpoint of this to each corner. Inside of that's the centroid that we need. Uh, next, we want to draw an angle from here. So before I do that, I want to go ahead and fix this curve so it doesn't move when I uh, add my other curve. So I'll go ahead and create another line here. Let's so create our line, come to our point, and I'm going to go ahead and place it on this curve here. So I don't know the values or the angles on that, so I'm just going to place that there and hit tab. So it'll actually automatically create a coincident current constraint for us, and I can add a fixed constraint down at this point as well. So I want to maintain that. The next thing I want to do is I know this distance is 90. So I can just put a smart dimension on there, type in 90, and I get that value. So that's basically my angle that I need to use. And so I can just now move this down here just to make it clean. I now have my overall shape that I need. So I'm going to go ahead and finish to get that shape. So that's what I need as my reference. So since this is a surface, I can actually use this uh, surface geometry or the feature geometry below it so you can see there's a b-rep feature here for the surface i can actually use that and the tri ball to get this other geometry the other part of the triangle so i can use the tri ball i'm going to move it down to the center point of this and i can now lock on uh, click on this handle it gives me both handles i can use here i can now uh, basically grab this handle right click and drag up to this point and just say copy here okay so it's a sim simple way to do that now i can just go to the other edge do the same thing on all three of these edges. So I'm going to go to the center point of that, align this to this edge, grab this handle, right click to center point, copy here, and we'll do the last one again. And as you can see, it's just actually creating new features when I'm doing that copy. So I'm hitting the space bar again to move it over to the other location, the center point. I'm aligning this edge here, grabbing this handle on the inside, and just say copy up to that point, 
copy there. So I'm just doing that slowly so you can see that. So once I did that, notice it actually turned this now from a surface into a solid. Since it's a closed volume, it's now a closed solid. This purple line that you see is my 3D curve, which I can now hide or suppress inside of here because we no longer need that. But that's basically everything that we need. And if we look on here, we can see that this edge here is actually uh, six, uh, oh, sorry, my toolbar is there, is 90 millimeters inside of there. So that gives us our exact size there. So now that we've got that shape, we can actually take the part level and we're going to move it up by right clicking and dragging. We're going to make a copy of that, two more at 60 degrees for those references. And since these are parts, you know, I want to Boolean them together to be one single part. I can select all those, go to my feature command and do a Boolean and union those as one single part. So now you can see all my features and these two parts underneath it. So now I've got that. I know I can add my bottom cylinder. I'm going to the center point, drag and dropping that on there. It's got a 35 diameter and a depth of 50. So that's already in the units I need. And last, I can go and add my drill feature here. So I'm going to drop that around on the center and I'm going to do a holes. So I just dragged this catalog item, but my mechanical tool, sorry. When you drag that out, there's many tools in there, but I just wanted the hole tool. And I'm going to do a counter bore and it has a diameter of 12 for the hole, a depth of 40 for that, and a 118 angle is what the, it calls out. And the counter bore is 20 and a depth of 10. So we just type, uh, set those values in there, hit OK to apply that. That will give us our shape inside of there. And now that we've got our model completed, we can go into our uh, part properties. Sorry, my uh, screen size is not quite right here. Our part properties has this as 2700 for the density, which give us an 804.907 or 805. Uh, grams for that model. So that's essentially how you can create this uh, model in IronCAD. Uh, different way of doing it, uh, multiple ways. Again, you can use uh, the 2D profiles to do that uh, vertical curve and then do the same process or the 3D curves. Just kind of want to show you that because we didn't have a chance with any other ones yet at this point to use a 3D curve, but wanted to show that. So very interesting model to design uh, and a uh, good way to design this in IronCAD. Hopefully you enjoyed.